Welcome back to Design Smith. Today I'm going to show you how to achieve that early to mid 90s graphics look. You know the one I'm talking about where it's very limited in terms of its colors and it just kind of had that really grainy look? It only takes a few steps in Photoshop and I can't think of any better image to use as an example than Windows XP Bliss wallpaper. Really quick, please consider subscribing to support the channel. Okay, let's take a look at the size really quick. We've got 1920 by 1200, and that's a pretty good size to do for something like this. It actually works a little bit better when it's on the smaller side rather than the larger side. And that's because we don't want those pixels to be so spread out from each other. In general, the smaller the image, the better this will work. This is a good size, so I'm going to leave it exactly as it is. I would recommend leaving it below 2000 pixels wide. All right, so what we're going to do is go up here to image and image size. And we're going to take it down by a half. And what you can do is you can actually put divided by two at the end of either one of those numbers and just hit enter. And now we're going to go up to image mode index color. And we're going to type in 16 colors and we'll leave everything the way it is here. So local selective, we're going to change forced primaries to web and we're going to uncheck transparency. And now we're going to hit okay. And now all we have to do is go back to image image size and hit multiply by two. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit more so you can see this. This is what computer graphics looked like up until about the late 90s. And the reason for that was because most people had slow internet connections. And they had to compress these images as much as they possibly could. They couldn't look photorealistic like they would if they were printed. So this is how you would have to optimize images for the web. But it's a great method to know, especially if you want to achieve a true retro look. And let's do one more. I actually found this one on Google. This is very similar to something that you would actually see on the internet back in the early to mid 90s, but I don't think that it was actually created back then. I think this was recreated as kind of a nod to that era. And the problem is that the quality is way too high. So let's make it look like it was actually made in the early to mid 90s. Okay, now we're gonna go down to image size again, and let's hit divide by two. And now we're gonna go to image, mode, index color, just like we did before. And because of the palette variance that we already have in this image, we have to change the palette to uniform. We have to do this because we want to get a low number. So typing in 16 is going to make it look pretty terrible. Let's try 32 instead. That looks a lot better, at least better for what we're trying to do. And now we'll hit OK. And now we're going to go back up to image size and then increase it by double. All right, here we go. Now this graphic looks like it was created in the time period that it's representing. All right, well, I hope this video was helpful to you. I hope that you can utilize this for any of the projects that you're working on. Thank you so much for watching. If you wouldn't mind, please consider subscribing to support the channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.